Hello and so welcome. I'm very excited about this project because this is a complete blog website using React.js and Trailer CSS. And here I implemented some advanced features such as pagination system and categorization system. And you can see this website has elegant design and was some features. So firstly, let's explore some features about these projects. So add navigation system. You can see we have a was some navigation systems by default home is selected that means home page is now displayed and if you hit this to the service page now you can see this is service page and you can see the page is rendered but most, most important thing is that if you notice here when you change any page it's not reloaded because here we implemented react router dom and i will show you how you can do everything after in this projects, you will able to design this type of awesome single page websites. Okay, fine. Now at this is a contact us page. The minimal design is everywhere. Okay, the most interesting thing at number is our login system. So if you hit login button, then a model will pop up. You can use your email and passwords to log in this account or you can just hit this close button to close this model okay let me close it again let me show it when you click a pop-up will appear here and when you want to close then it will be closed and this is a classic banner sections but for blog websites is awesome and here you can see the categorization system you can category your blog based on this categorization system for example by default all blog is presented here and at the bottom you can see pagination system by default you can select previous button but you can select next button because the page is start from the page number one so if you select the page number two you can see now you can select the previous one to go back to the page one and you can also use the next button to move forward so for example if you hit next then you now page number three now page number four every page i just render 12 blocks per page and by default you can change your pagination by clicking previous and next button you can also select uh, any of this page using just manual selection so let me select this page number six now the this is the page number six and you can do uh, navigations uh, by based on category okay now wall is selected and if you hit start of page then all blocks that contains the start of category now security related posts are here this all blocks are about AI and now all about apps then this is tech and for this project I created a use API uh, data for you and I will provide all this data with you so you don't have to worry about I will share with you okay this is our categorization system and pagination system and here at the bottom you can see a classic footer sections and finally here we have latest blog sections and popular now blog sections if you just check your service page you can see at the top there is a classic banner and then uh, we listed some of the features and then this is about page very simple but elegant here we used some cards to just present our top authors now this is a blog page so let me show an interesting thing if you choose any of this blog we will get more details about this blog we can read this blog for example if we hit the first one you can see the banner is here this is our title you can see blog details are here and at the right side there is latest blog and popular blog so you can also uh, read blog from here okay let me go back now if you choose for example this post look this post is loaded so every time you click a single 
blog you can read this blog without any issues so isn't this feature is awesome and finally we have contact page so if you like this design and features please leave a comment your comment will inspire me a lot so let's get it started firstly uh, at this pro uh, git repository you will find all the projects data that is printed here you can see uh, under this api there is a block data.json file and here lots of data are ready for you you just copy and use it by your own look i spent a lot to create this data look and be total 83 data here and then you can also get all the images that i used here so this is about images it takes a few time for internet issues and then all images are here so clone this are repository fast okay to clone this you can just download this zip format or just copy this link so after then you have to go to okay let me close this or take a new uh -huh, command prompt so here let me take a new command prompt and firstly we'll move to e folder so that's why e clone and then here we'll type cd that means change directory to projects that means i'm going to clone this to the projects folder so system is not available let me check uh actually it's e and then <laughs> oh this is not available but we can just create a new folder so named projects so just go to inside this and here we will just copy our git repository so that's why let me open it in terminal so if i do this then this is a and then projects directory is projects so here we will clone uh, our git repository you can see this is the git repository i am copied this code and now so here we'll type git clone you can also download this so don't worry but let me show the perfect way a developer is worked so here git clone and our copied url this url is from this url just this url and then just press enter in a few seconds this is cloning and this cloning is uh, completed so now you can just open it to your vs code so type code dot so this project is opened here at vs code so let me close the our first project so let me close this and now here is it so look this is projects and under this projects you can see a folder is created and this is our modern react.js block structured file okay fine so if you just explore here is our api this is all our data and this is the images images okay fine so now uh, we have to open our terminal then you can just change directory cd modern and type this so cd modern and then if you tap this then this file name is presented here then press enter now the directory is project slash this directory firstly we will have to install npm i that means npm install you can just type in install also and then press enter after typing some node modules will be included here 
so node modules is included here okay this is our server sites so we need json file that's why i am doing this uh, we will just if we just visit uh, and type npm start then the server will be running okay let me close the previous server one server is running that's why this error and now just press ctrl c and again npm start okay our um, index.js file is just running and if you go to your browsers and type localhost 5000 then you can see block server is running actually i did this for fetching data you can just do manually but i think it's perfect to fetch data here is our api we will just fetch this api and uh, present our block section these sections so that's why uh, i am just showing this this is optional you can just ignore this you don't need to understand anything as you uh, if you are a beginners or you just starting just uh, download this folder just download this folder and then change the directory then npm install after then just command npm starts what i am doing here okay when it's done here in this projects okay we'll create a uh, projects for the block site so that's why first we will go to tailwind css we are going to use tailwind css and here get started then this is the installation process we will choose framework guidelines and then bit so here you can see step by step project status guideline and we are using bit to install react so firstly we have to code copy this line and then here okay open the terminal again and then split this so let me just move it to top so at the left side we'll run our client side and at the right side our server is running okay fine now this is the client side and here we'll paste the copy code this code actually this code okay copy this line and then paste it here you can see npm create bit latest at the red latest and here our project name as it's a react blog project so i'm writing react blog website okay fine now just press enter you can see a folder is created that that is our client side and this project has these features but we have to change the directory first so that's why cd that means change directory and then let's copy it and paste it here so cd react blog website and now look this is project directory is changed project slash that means this project directory is now active here we will install npm installation so npm i or npm install and look uh, npm package is installing so when it's done you can see our node modules will include here it takes a few minutes or based on your internet speeds okay let's wait until this is done okay 
now you can see node modules is installed and then our next step is we have to install tailwind css so we have to run this command firstly we will install tailwind css and post css auto prefixers so copy the first line and now here just paste Control v for paste and then enter again so it will install tailwind css and post css auto prefixer you can check your json file for this so this is the json file and here you can see under this dependency tailwind css post css and also auto prefixer is included at dev dependency and then next step is we have to create a post css now we have to create a tailwind.config.css that's why this command okay copy it and then now command it press enter so now you can see tailwind.config.js file is included then we have to configure our template path that's why copy this code and we have to paste it to the tailwind.config.js file so here let me close this and from here you can see tailwind.config.js open this file we will replace this content to our copied code so you can just copy this code and paste it here okay fine then the step number four is we will add tailwind derivatives to our index.css you can see index.css the index.css is under src folder so that's why so this is our src folder and here this is our index.css press ctrl and a to mark one and then backspace to delete and then we will paste here so ctrl b for paste you can see there is some warning for this unknown rule so that's why mark it and copy it from here you can just open your settings search this unknown add rules so make sure you are in workspace and here just choose ignore now this warning will move that's fine then our next step is we have to run this project that's why npm run dev okay now here just npm run dev let me type manually npm run dev to run our client side so press enter here you can see this is a localhost url and just click control and click here so our projects is now this will just delete all the styling so that's why uh, close all of these we don't need this we will open app.jsx from here we will okay we'll just select wall and remove all here we'll just take a on tag and then hello react tabs okay fine now if you check your website you can see hello react tabs so that's mean this is the entry point of our websites app.jsx we don't need this unused uh, imports and variables so remove all and we also remove this you can see uh, is our tailwind css is working so if you type class name and just text seven excels for example and check your website you can see it's applying by default there are some default styling based on this app.css so we'll also remove it open this app.css and mark all delete all now look that's the basic styling okay that's fine uh by default it's okay now 
uh, but I will suggest you to install the extensions so that you can just get this type of suggestion so that's why from this extension tab you will just install this extension <coughs> react redux react native synapse this will help you a lot i will show you how this extension will help you a lot but before that as we are going to use uh we are going to use okay let me close this we don't need this repository now as we are going to use react routers so that's why we will have to install react routers so that's why you can just search react router or just go to this website reactrouters.com so this is the website okay from here you just click tutorial sections so this is the step by step process how you will just create a react routers and complete your websites so firstly uh, the first step we have created our react app then the second step we'll just install this uh, we will just install react router dom so copy this line and here we'll have uh, we will also command this so that's why you can just press ctrl c to stop this uh, client side and okay let me show you press ctrl c here and look our client site is stopped now then we can just paste this code and then press enter okay this is the one way you can also add another terminal here to run all this all this so that's okay i will show you a little bit later okay now npm run dev okay fine so it still our client side and server side is also running this server side is optional i just use it to phase data nothing else you can just ignore it uh, you can just add your api data to this uh, to this just public folders here under this public uh, public folder i will show you how you can do that but uh, for advanced learners as you are going to learn some advanced tricks i saw uh, i think you should learn api how to phase and how to show that i am uh, on ui so that's why this is my intent okay let me close then next one is we will have to add routing system so that's why firstly we will copy this look the colors so this is the dark darkish color and we will copy code from here so copy it and now you can see you have to add this code to your main.jsx if you read documentation you can just understand properly but if you don't read now you can just follow me what i am doing here we'll go to our main.jsx look this is the main.jsx okay here we'll just paste this code here and then go back to your selected page then next step is we have to just copy this one okay fine I just copied then the last step is we have to add router provider router equal routers so we will add this on this we will just delete app and then this on okay fine now if you check your websites so this is our websites you can see hello world but at the app dot j6 you can see we have written hello react devs but hello world is just rendering here why because look here we just render a div and this is hello world we don't use that we will just render here our app okay app let me close it you must have to close components so now 
it's working okay i think this step is done now we'll set up some children so that's why here children then colon then a square brackets inside this square brackets firstly we'll define a path and this path path will be root path that's why slash and then we'll have to define an element here so the element will be our home page that's why we'll create some pages under this src okay let me close uh, delete it for now okay now just under this src we'll just add a folder this is all pages so we will have some pages like home blog page abutter space and other pages so that's why pages and select this page please click here and then add a folder here so first one is home page home dot j6 so j6 is the extension for react functional component so we'll use j6 then okay fine now rafce rafce so you can hit this to get a code template for react projects so look a template is just created so this is created by this extension i just talk about it we will use this extension to uh, just smooth our pro, uh, working that's why by using this extension if you type r a f c e and press enter then a functional component will be written so now at the main.j6 at the home route we'll take a element tag and now we'll render our home so that's why home and choose this home camp component so press enter look home component is imported and we will have to close this now if you check your website then you can refresh it but nothing works because we don't import it here uh, we have to import a uh, outlet here but before that let me just do manually a div and this is nav bar we'll just design our nav bar a little bit later but now under this nav bar we'll just choose outlet all the child of the app will render in this outlet functions you can see here we defined app this is app so this is our file and here children all the children will just render under this nav bar so that's why we are using outlet okay fine now check your websites so under this home page you can see oh, under this nav bar you can see home okay fine let me create some other pages so select this page we'll create another page this this page name is blog so blogs dot jsx okay fine r a f c e then this is blog page we'll also create contact page contact dot jsx r a f c e contact page is created then a service page services dot jsx our fc let me how this extension is help me to create this type of repetitive components so then a about piece about dot jsx raf ce fine we have created lots of pace and now we will set up the routing systems we'll take a comma here and then take a curly braces here we'll define path for the for the block piece we'll just define slash blocks okay fine then we'll just choose the component so that's why element and here 
the block page will render okay fine let's show you the magic so if you just copy this path and here this is the home route and if you just paste this and also use a slash here if you just press enter you can see home page is rendered the number is by default fixed because we just add a default member and a footer but now you can see now it's a home page then we will just set up another route child route actually so let me copy this here this is about page and we'll render about component about so if we just go to slash about then look about page we have just simply about here and if we just type about page and now refresh look about page so our number is fixed and here the child is rendering so by the flowing process we'll just add other children let me copy again so you will define your path here so for this this is a contact page and choose contact components here so again let me show you so this is contact and uh, lately we'll just use path service space so that's why slash services and here element will be the service components so that's why services you must import import this okay fine uh, so primarily i think everything is added here we have created our pages and just did our routing system okay the icon is boring that so let me off this let me close all this we don't need this okay close this page and from here you can see index.cs if you change your fab con fab icons then you can also change the strip here but uh for now i don't change it let me comment out it and here let me just change the title react modern blog website using tailwind css okay this is the basic title so the titles will show at the top okay fine now we'll just design our number so for this number we'll just uh, first create a folder under this src so choose src file first and then here just take a new folder so components will just create some components here and select these components and here firstly we'll just make a nav bar so nav bar dot z6 dot z6 rfc now uh, here look we just let me close this on here we just hard code our number but we will want a functional number that i shown on this project so that's so why here we will render never okay look this number is imported from this path components under components this never okay now if you check this is number we'll just design this number page so for this firstly uh here we'll use um some navigation system so that's why we'll just type nav items okay so nav items so conost 
nav items equal then a square bracket so we will create an array of objects that's why we will define a path so path will be slash for the home routes and then link link will be home so okay fine and then copy it for four or five times as you need so this is home then this is service space services okay copy it and paste it here uh, make it capital then about route so path will be about and the link will be about then this one is block blocks and this link will be block so the last one is contact contact please make sure all these path are similar to your uh, main.jsx router so make sure all the routes or the parts are same as you were written here because if this doesn't then it's not working let me just make sure everything is fine so everything is perfect okay that's it now here uh, we don't need this so we don't define it a div we'll just use semantic tag that's why header and inside this header we'll just take another semantic tag for navigation nav bar so this is nav here okay inside this nav bar firstly we'll just create a logo so we'll take a anchor tag the path will be slash and then our text will be design okay if you check your website design and then check a span tag so it's styling this here dk this actually is a simple logo look dk and we'll just do some styling here so that's why the text size will be text real uh, excel so if the suggestion is not showing you can just make sure if the tailwind intelligence is installed or not so if you just type tailwind css and make sure this extension is installed without installing this extension the suggestion will not show but you can see i still no suggestion is showing so if you just press ctrl and space bar then you can see suggestion is showing so firstly we'll define a text size so that text size is excel that means the font size will be 28 pixels oh, uh, 20 pixels actually so now if you check look it's much bigger then we will define the font bold so font bold so this is the power of tailwind uh, we can use inline css then text will be white but i don't uh, define it now text white but if i do text white okay uh, let's define the text white so for this here we'll add a class name and we'll define bz black without doing this we cannot see okay busy block now you can see we can uh, here let me define a class name here we can define px4 so for some space and py py is obviously 4 so we'll get some space now you can see the first one will have to styling the dk so that's why this is the span tag here we'll take a class name and define text warrants 500 okay fine now we can see 
some step you can just make bright by increasing or decreasing this so that's like four let me check you can also check which is in bright maybe four is uh much brighter okay okay uh, i think five is okay so that's why it's okay so our logo is this is simple logo you can use your own logo but i think this is fine now then here under this a check we'll just render our nav items nav items for actually large devices so that's why lg devices i will explain everything just wait uh, so here this is evil tag inside this evil tag we'll just take a curly braces and we'll just map all the naps item here so naps then we'll map and inside this map actually we'll do a arrow functions arrow functions and then we'll take a li tag so under this evil tag a li tag but here we'll de structures this path handling so that's i copy the path and de structures it good okay let me take a curly braces to de structures as it's an objective inside this array this is a object so that's why i use curly braces and then also link will be de structured and here uh, inside this li will just take a nav link so nav link is from react router dom if you check a little bit later you can use link from react router dom but i think the nav items is something if we add uh active link styling so that's why we'll just choose nav link okay let's type inside this li tag we'll just type nav link and let me import this okay let me close this look nav link is imported from react router dom here a link a uh, nav link must have a true so we'll define our uh, path here so the path is obviously this path and then we'll define here a curly braces and then the link is here so if you check your website uh, okay you can't see you can't see anything but here is something if you just add text color here text white then you can visible it look all the items is rendered here we'll have to style this so <laughs> to style this firstly here let me define a class name and then we'll define on medium devices this will be flex gap will be gap between two items will be 12 okay fine then text will be large lg that means 18 pixels font size and then by default this will be hidden on a small devices okay now if you check this is our nav items we can also uh, provide a key properties so key props here without uh, passing a key props this will show a error on the console that's why we must pass a key props okay fine now you can see this number okay fine we will add is filing a little bit later but now it's okay then under this you will check we'll just menu items we will have some menu icons uh, including a model also but okay 
let me take a new div inside this div we'll take a anchor tag here the path will be slash and we'll just uh, make sure we will just use some icons so, so for this okay let me go to react icons and just go to the github page will use react icons to use icons you can just get use number of icons on these sides you can see just choose you can just use front or some icon on your react projects hero icons uh, material icons and for every icons you can get everything here so firstly hit this home button and copy this we will have to include this not packages troll project so that's why again open the terminal look here is the client side and this is the server side don't do anything in this server side okay now let me just pick another terminal because every time i i don't want to close our website so that's why hit this another terminal look this is all terminal for client sites we will just uh, make sure cd react block react then if you just press tab then the name of this site is react blog website you can see and then press enter now the uh, change directory is changed now we'll just paste our code okay fine so okay this is fine now to use any of these icons you must search the icon here so i would like to use front some icons so let me select this ap6 and then copy this code we will include this code at the top so let me comment it react react icons okay fine we don't need this we'll just let me use a icon here so if we want to just make sure we, if you want to use uh, a facebook icons for example this one just hit this then icon will be copied you just paste it here well you can just just make here a components similar like this then now if you check your website and refresh you can then see anything but there is home let me just add a class name and then text white okay now this icon will be visible this is home uh, this is facebook icon okay fine here let me define a class name and make sure when this icon is hover we will add text warrants your hover color here actually hover is for hover color and this is 500 so if you hover look the color is changing okay now let me copy three times so how i did copy let me just test so just select this one and then press shift Alt and down arrow so you can see uh, copy the multiple times now secondly we will need a dribble icon so that's why you can check the dribble code from here so if you scroll then you can find dribble so this is s this is k and we have to choose this is g f a g so a little bit upper we can find dribble okay this is dribble so copy it and here let me just delete here and then paste it you can see because we have to import that so let me import it and the finally we need a twitter so that's a fa twitter 
okay if it return import it if you do this now you can see facebook uh treble and facebook is here we'll add a styling here so text will be white on large devices it will be flex then cap will be four so that's mean gap so this is not g gap will be four and then item center item center of i'm sorry item center and then by default this will be hidden on mobile devices okay fine now you can see it's now here okay after then we will need a button so this button will be login button so that's why you take a button and this button will be login so login button we'll add styling here so that's why class name class name the background of this button will be bg voice 500 500 then tx that means padding to the left and right will be 6 then ty will be 2 if you check your website you can see this is the button we can define font weight medium that's mean font weight will be 5100 then this will be rounded so this defines the border radius 4 pixels then hover color will be hover color will be busy white and hover text will be text white or oh, text warrants warrants 500 will add some transition so that's why transition wall duration 200 and is in so the transition timing functions okay fine now if you hover look the changes okay fine so lastly we will add a mobile menu icons so that's why under this tip we'll add a mobile menu button and it will visible only the display only the mobile so on the only the mb mobile screen okay fine it's very simple so let me take a new div inside this div we'll take a button and this button will be a fa verse okay let's see uh, okay we'll uh, need to define a class name here and define with w5 and is five and obviously here uh, let me define a text right here so so that every elements inside this header will be text white will have text white okay now you can see this button will uh, do a functional uh, styling here so let me choose a class name then cursors will be pointer now we'll have to make it functional so that's why before that let me add styling so firstly let me choose this here we'll copy this 
padding to the px and y we'll just make sure oh okay we don't need to delete this we can add our code uh, here firstly we'll define a size so that's why max width uh seven excels for examples this is a max size then we'll define mx zero if we do that then you can see it's move here anything changes here but if we add uh, oh mx auto mx auto then you can see it moves to the center positions or something here but if we just define flex then flex justify between justify between then you can see ah all is moved here we'll also define item centers so every element is aligned center okay uh, on the larger e screen we don't want to see these on these buttons so let me close uh, i choose a class name on medium devices will be make it hidden so our bars will not display it on medium devices or higher devices but if you just check your website in a small devices you can see okay on medium devices only logo and nav items is displayed if you just go to uh, sm device a small devices then you can see uh, nav bar is presented but here we will add functionality when we click it will show nav bar on the top but give me a time look the transitions now at a header we will just define uh, we will just define it it will be fixed then top zero left zero right zero okay and already defined text white okay nothing changed must but it's now on center uh, it's okay now we'll have to depend some a state and do functionality so that's why under these curly braces we'll just define a uh, states so use effect tester so that's like conost then a, a square brackets here is menu open is menu open when menu is opened we'll do something so that's why i'm just using this hook so this will be is menu open and here we'll use use a state use a state so import it and then by default we'll make it false okay fine then we'll define a button for toggling so that's why toggle button toggle menu actually toggle menu equal this will be a, a function so that's why i'm using arrow functions here so this way we can define arrow functions then when this button is clicked we'll change the state of this uh, is menu open so by default look it's false but when the menu uh, toggle menu is clicked we will just change the state so is menu open if it's true now then when we click toggle menu will make it false but when it's false will make it uh, true okay so that's work so okay fine now the next task is we'll just define where we just render it here look this is our div and here we will use toggle menu so this menu will be visible on a small device so that's why we'll add a one click here on click fun on click here and we'll just render 
this toggle menu so copy it and inside this curly braces paste it okay fine now we'll just see uh add make make it on a small devices so look it's clicked but let's uh change the bars to a uh, change the bars to a cross icon so that's why here we'll take a curly braces and then make sure if is menu open we'll want to show a we'll want to show a x mark icon so that's why f a x mark icon x mark icons then this one and but when it's false then let me cut it and paste it here we'll just copy the same class name for this first one okay that's done okay let's let's see what is happening so look by default this is uh this menu is showing but if we click look it's now cross all look this effect but we can't show any items uh, on the drop down so that's why we will have to uh, create a new uh div here so this div menu items only for mobile so this menu item will only for mobile okay now let me define a div we'll copy our code here we'll copy this whole email inside this div uh, okay fine but here we want to add something here by default on medium devices that, that was flex so but i want to define it's hidden but on the small device this will be visible so let me check uh, this is something now okay by default this will be block let me add some spacing spacing uh, to the y okay let me choose this one and then let me change it spacing y 4 okay so look there's some spacing then we'll define px Four, then py py that means padding to the top and bottom six will define margin top will be 14 and busy here busy will be white okay and i want to make sure the text will be black okay now change look see so this is something this is something but it's not appropriate we will have to do something here okay uh, here we just uh, use this styling but let me mark it control x to cut wall and here we'll just use a curly braces we'll take a template string and then paste it because we'll just uh, do something here so that's why we will just curly braces we'll just define is main open if main open then we'll show something otherwise we'll just hide something so that's why make it hidden so what's doing here 
actually when this is main open is true we'll just show uh, make fixed uh, nav items so that's why fixed then top zero left zero and this will be full width full width and uh, we'll also add some transitions so that's why it will be smooth then is out is out duration on 15 okay fine look so when we clicked you can see the effect by default this is now when you click this is okay probably this section is now done now uh, how to style uh, these sections but when we click this is not moved so that's why uh, on the nav items here at on the nav items we'll just set one click on click then we are just define toggle menu okay now if we just click any items look this is closed and this path is changed but you can see and will uh, text because this text is behind this uh, banner we will just fix it a little bit later okay i think this is working now uh, if you click look the active color is not showing so that's why if you just uh, explore the document you can just define active color by this way so look the nav items here there is some classes so you can just copy this code and add the nav item at the top so this is the nav item you can just paste it here uh, we don't need painting okay let me show uh, here is the active class and at the app.css we'll just define a class and we'll just show some code so that's why as we're going to use Taylor and CS so we will use app line then we'll define text will be warrants 500 500 so if you just check look this is service page this is home page this is about page this is blog page and everything okay now active color is active then we also need to define underline so underline now underline is selected we'll have to add some spacing between this underline so that's why underline offset four okay mass space so our map bar is created so let's see final look if we just inspect now it's a small devices you can see this section is active okay it's okay for in mobile devices fine now on the larger devices at medium devices this is showing on the larger devices this is something look like okay our number is created hey now let's design our banner sections here we have a banner so that's why we'll design our banner first okay so navbar is done let me close it we'll create a components here so this will be banner dot jsx okay fine array f c e uh, let me import it on app dot uh, on our home page so that's why uh, from the page sections let me open home.jsx here uh, we don't keep home with the stranger banner okay so fine you can't see anything because your banner is under this uh, uh, number so that's why here we will have to add some class name okay let me define px4 and 
py32 so if we do this then you can see banner is here okay fine now we will define background color so that's why the background color will be busy black and this will be mx water okay fine now it's okay inside this banner we don't need this we'll just take a new div inside this div we'll take a s1 tag we'll type welcome to our blog okay maybe this first uh, letters will be on and then here we will just define a class this text will be white okay and this text also will be center aligned so that's why text center that means text will be text align will be center if you check you can see hello welcome to our blog here we will add class name by default text will be 5xl but when it's on large device text will be 7xl okay fine then leading by default will be null that means uh, line height will be 1.375 persons if you hover you can see then we have two different font bold font weight bold and mp5 oh, wow let's see our blog then next here we'll just add some text so that's why p let me type start your blog today and join a community of writers and readers who are passionate about sharing their stories and ideas okay we offer everything it's just some heading you can just copy paste it from internet or from her everything you need let me type it first so it started from helpful tips and tutorials okay done so if you check you can see uh, it's long we have to styling this that's why let me add class name and the class will be text gray 100 so that will be some gray text and here on large devices we will be 3 by 5 that means 60 percent width and max mx what that means uh, it will be center aligned and here we will also add mb5 okay can see now this is okay but the problem is we don't define uh, any font you can use font also uh, google fonts for this so google fonts so let me use a fonts here so let me clear the font from here now refresh this and here search your font I just use enter font here so that's why I ensure 
and we'll choose some variant so that's why this is thin extra bold light regular medium semi bold bold we don't need extra and uh, extra blood we just uh, import it on our uh, using css so that's why copy this and now at app.css at the top we'll define it as we only used this form i just uh, use it inside body but you can customize your tailwind config by this way you can just extend it here you will define font family and just define uh, sorry it's curly braces and you will uh, define a name of this font so primary or something then you can also uh, copy this this way okay just let me copy this and paste it here okay we'll have to define a uh, this way or you can just see the documentations from here uh, if you go to the text sections or search it font family font family then you can see how you can just use it look you can just use it this way uh, i just i'm sorry i just make a mistake uh, we will have to use a a car uh, a bracket so let me just correct it we will add uh, a square bracket here so now if you define text primary for example let me define text primary primary oh maybe font primary font primary you can see this is font primary and you can also check it's on your web so let me define it so if you just inspect it then you can see the font is enter and font site uh, site is extent you can also explore it on computer tab you can see the enter font is selected you can use uh, this way okay this way uh, or you can just use it inside your app.css you can use it on body okay nothing uh, everything is okay you can just use this way you can just use body then copy these lines and paste it here so if you have one font uh, only single font then you can do this way but if you have multiple font you can just customize primary font secondary font and others so we don't need to duplicate it so let me delete it okay fine so font setup is done next uh, we have to just add a button types here so for example so let me copy it here uh, let me close that and here we will take a new div and inside this div we will import a link from react router tool okay then let me close this here we will just uh, define learn more learn more and link must have a two will define path to the about sections or somewhere but let me this is a empty form here if you check your website learn more here we will just define class name then let me define font medium and hover on hover the text will be text warrants 500 okay let's see it's effective but here we would uh used to like we would like to use a arrow sign here so that's why 
after this learn more let me define a react icons so that's why import script so import then we'll just define react icons slash the font will be uh, it's from font of some six versions and here the font will be fa arrow actually arrow right arrow right you can type it manually if a arrow right or you can just find it from the page so now uh check a arrow sign paste it here and close it here we'll add class name on the margin top it will be one and on ALL ml that means mad margin left it will be true okay so now check it's here because why this is happening uh, okay but before that let me define it a uh, flex uh maybe it will be solved okay it's here so how you can fix it you can define it in line flex in line flex and item center if you check now it's fixed okay you can also define py some padding to the y one i think this section is done now we design the most important part we will just move to our uh, block sections first and then render elements here so if you check your website on a small devices you can see it's still elegant you can also open the map verb you can close it look how beautiful this is okay now let's move to the block page we'll just design our block page first because it's the most important part of this project that's why the uh, we will do important past first so here uh, at the top we'll define class name okay uh, let me keep it here okay let me take a class name here and then inside this class name let me type is one this will be block page so that's why this is block page and here we'll add class name uh, these items is similar to the our a zone so let me copy it and use it here we only just make sure it will be h2 type it's nothing i can just keep it a zone okay now we can see the blog is at the top we'll have to add class name then ey40 then is obviously black then text text will be center and text will be white and at px that means padding to the left and right it will be four so if you check your website now you can see it's welcome block but we have to de define it block base block base all so this is home page now click here this is block page you can see so we kept the same styling to all our pages and the banner so that's why you can make each uh, components or you can just uh, you can make it a shared component or you can just copy it and paste it to the other component so let's uh, do it for contact space inside this tape we'll just paste it here okay 
this will be contact contact a space then open service phrase paste it here this is services space okay then also do it for about a space about a space okay now if you check look this is home page now service page now about a space now blog page now contact space so everything is, is still working fine now let's design our blog page firstly here uh, to format this code press shift world and f now this code is formatted here we'll show all blocks container container so that's why we'll take another div and inside this div we'll define a max width max width 7xl as well chosen a max width and then a max auto that means it will move to auto now we'll just create a page for this actually we'll do it in another place so that's why inside this component we'll create blog page dot csx okay fine uh okay fine then R A F C E print functional components. So here, uh, okay, fine. Let me close all these. We don't need this. We also close blocks, and we don't need to define after CSS. So we also uh, don't need to home now. So blocks and block pieces will be open so we will render block piece to the block section so that's why so far we add that code maybe is it another piece service piece no so where we add the code maybe this code is deleted okay let me check a little bit home page contract space blog page okay this is yeah we add that code on avatar space it's this is not avatar space this will be inside this blog piece so here this is okay fine inside here we'll just render our blog phase that's fine let me close it so if you check this block is here fine firstly we already have our data look refresh it here we have all the data we need so make sure this server is running how you can make sure look here firstly look this is the client side and this is the server side. So make sure this is running. Uh, so to run this, uh, you can use npm start comma. So if you download this uh, server side and uh, use npm install first and then npm run, then your server will be running on port 5000. So if you check uh, localhost slash 5000, then you can see your block server is running and if you just go to this path blocks so then you can see all the blocks okay fine so let me close it we don't need that firstly we'll define we will just show our data so that's why we'll define a user states here that's a conost 
and first one will be blog so blogs then search blogs okay we'll use use a state effects uh, we use a vect uh, use a state hooks here so use a state source hook here and by default this will be empty objects uh, empty array so why it's empty array? look this is an array of objects so inside this array we have different objects the first objects second objects and more objects so this array and objects that's why we will define array here okay fine then we will use use effect hook so comma and then a dependency here uh, we will just make sure this will be different but let me use effect here okay so a anonymous functions that means this functions have no name so this is an arrow anonymous functions firstly will async will use a uh, will define a async functions uh, so define a functions let me type functions we'll just face block we'll name it page fet says page block so that's why we're going to face it and you can just use arrow functions also you can just use functions this way or you can just define arrow functions so firstly let me define url url our url will be a template string and this will be this url just copy this url and here paste it here okay fine then the next step we will use honest response response then as we are using async functions we must use average so this is async average so then we'll fetch face the url okay face the url then const data equals we'll also define average then response we'll just make this response and then convert it as a json format so that's why response dot json okay lastly we'll set the data to the i uh, will set data to the set block so you can just see it or if you want to check the data then you can also console log it so clg data okay let me see if data is showing so this is the home page and uh, if you can just inspect you can see nothing is showing but if you call these functions here after this then look 86 data is presented because we have 86 number data so if you scroll then you can see 83 and we have actually 86 data okay so you can see all data is fetching here and we just send this data to the blog so send this data to the blog section so that's why if you just console log blocks you can see all your data as well look all data is here it's repeating for something but it's okay so data is showing now let me create a uh, now let me create a template so here we don't need here firstly we'll define a category section so category category section will be here so we'll just implement it a little bit later but this div will be base category base category 
this div will have paste category and then another div uh, will just implement uh, pass this block and lastly will have pagination so let me define a comment pagination will be here from section and the, this section is about blog card sections so that's why this will be block cards section inside this drip we'll just render the blog okay block cards So let me create a folder. So okay, let me create a file inside this components, and here this file name will be block card. Blog card. Why I'm doing this another file? Because I want to organize this and make this code more readable. So block.csx or RFCA. Oh sorry, RFC ca and then inside this div we'll call it blog cards okay fine now if you check your website look this category block card and Pagination's maybe oh, we don't define it. Pagination's okay. Pagination's so firstly we'll display our data, then define category and pagination's by one by one. Okay. So for this, look here we say data to blocks. We'll pass these blocks to this component. So that's why. Uh, blocks equals then curly braces blocks so if you do this then you can just extract data to this page so for this use curly braces and paste this block make sure this text and this text is similar okay okay fine So if you do this and want to just curiously if you, yeah, if you want to show uh, this okay let me just do this firstly let me face this data so that's why curly braces and here we will just let me define conost filter 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 blocks equals these blocks these blocks okay if you just check the filter block then you can see uh, we go to the area area of objects so so it's it's still well it's, it's still working so we'll copy this filter and here we'll just do filters do then map so filter blocks then map okay fine and here we will just define block single block and this will be arrow and here firstly we will take a link tag we'll import link from react router dome okay fine let me close it the key co elements will be key co props will be every block we have an id so that's why so if you check your blog then you can see every blog has a unique id so that's why i defined a key props here 
and inside this blocks let me take a div and inside here we'll use image and uh, we'll use blocks dot and then to check your website here the image name is img okay that's it we'll define class name tableau full for now so if you check your website you can see all the blocks is here we'll style it a little bit late but i think blocks is presented then under this div let me define a s3 tag we'll just render block and then let me check the name this will be probably the title so dot title so every image and title is here look the first title is making wearable magical things so at the top so making wearable so this data is presented here so this is the image and thing then we'll just define a p tag oh let me add class name here we'll just do a little bit styling margin top will be four mb will be two font will be bold hover text will be text blue 600 cursor will be pointer okay now check if you hover then it's working we have loaded all the data we don't need to worry about here we'll define author blog dot author so blog dot okay let me copy so this is author name so blog dot author class name mb2 okay fine author mb2 so mb2 we'll add uh, icons here so that's why let me import components from here react icons slash fa that means we are using font awesome it's not fa6 font awesome 6 the version will be fa so we'll just render a fa users users and at the beginning here we will use these icons so that's why fa users then close it the class name will be inline flex and line flex then item center then mr margin to the right sections will be true okay let's see uh it's not showing but now it's showing hmm. that's okay you can define text gray 500 so for okay not gray 500 you can define 400 or something six hundred is it okay okay it's okay i think it's okay now then another p p limits and this will be p published blog and this will be publishing date the publishing date will be 
obviously you look here we have publishing date so blog dot publishing date you can see add class name text is m text tray 500 you can also define this will be text sm text sm <coughs> okay fine oh it's too small we don't need this oh that's something but at this time we'll uh, define it some styling so here target this trip this is a parent div okay so target this div add class name then make it a grid layout we will use grid layout on medium devices grid calls will be grid calls will be three on sm that means a small device grid call will be grid calls will be true and by default create calls create calls one and here gap will be eight so if you check your website now you can see something it's changed much better okay now add the link target this link components and here add class name will add e5 that means padding to the wall site will be file and shadow lg then this will be rounded and cursors will obviously be pointer so now wow this is our wonderful blog you can see off are you impressed i think it's going to be awesome thing so now at this point our this component is done but let me implement a category and uh, page selection so that's why we'll do it now at the block piece let's back to the block piece and here at the top we'll define some states so that's why firstly we'll define conost and it will be also an error first uh square brackets and this use a state will define one by default let me type it you will understand by default current piece current pace will be first pace so that's why pace one and then set current pace set current pace will be done later then we'll define a pace size our pace size conost pace size will be 12 12 means will show number of products so number of blocks blocks per page so if you just uh, define 10 then 10 blocks will be presented in one page if it's 12 it will be 12 products in one page as we have three items in one page and want to keep three row so that's why i just define 12 you can just change it anything then we'll define category so that's why selected category then copy it and then set selected category so make the first letter is so that it will be readable and here by default we will use use a stretch and then by default selected category will be none 
Okay. Then. Uh, I think it's okay. Now we have to modify this string. Okay. So this URL, we will modify this URL. So, so to filter based on category, we will define if if filter by category, filter by category. So that will be if then this selected category, if this selected category then we will just change the url url this url nothing else so this url add a plus then equals then a template string we will add ampersand so that's why and sign then category category equals then as we are using template string we can use dollar sign then curly braces here this will be sage category so this will be selected category so that's why paste it here now okay so where is the category actually the category is here so every block will have a category this is health category this on a spin tech category a startup category so every blog has a category we just define a category here and we will render and to define the current page and the pages here at the blog sections we will add a question mark and then define page equal then curly brass uh, a dollar sign will define current page current piece and uh, sorry here we'll just ampersand then limit we'll define limit equal uh, obviously make sure you use dollar sign then this will be page size oh okay so that's fine that's fine everything will be same and add dependency here we'll just make sure current page then page size then selected category okay then here we'll just define a conost handle so how we change our uh, designation so that's why we will define handle page change uh, when we click a uh, page it will be changed so that's why change handle page change it will be a function so that's why uh, a functions then if the arrow functions here yeah, we'll pass we'll pass actually the page number so page number number and then we'll set this page number set current page okay let me copy this set current page equals then this page number okay this page number it's done let me comment it page change changing pattern okay now we will just change category so that's why we will define a handle handle catch a gory change so category sense okay this will be an array functions 
I'm doing very slowly so you can just grab it so if you cannot understand you can join with me uh, obviously here at the handle categorizations firstly we'll just define this set selected category so set selected category will be our category category firstly it will be category we'll pass category from the text so the the props will be the parameters will be category so make sure this bar uh, spelling is well c a t a z o r -E, category and then we'll define set current page copy this set current page after then here set current page is one set uh, okay we don't need to define active page category but we can do it okay let me add a new uh, user states so this will work for styling so that's why active category set active category active category equals set active set active category it's now okay now uh, we need this so sets active category we'll just pass it then this will be category so our initialization is now done now uh, we'll pass the elements here so current pace current page will be this current page so current page will be this current page then selected category so selected category equals curly braces selected category then piece size so piece size piece size will be piece size okay if it's work then add the block base here we'll just receive everything so current base let me choose current base then we are actually destructuring so just a selected category then base size actually base size Base size. So block current page, page size, selected category. So if everything okay, now here is our task. Okay, here at block we'll just filter based on so add filter dot filter, then we'll define blogs okay it will be arrow functions then we'll check not selected category then optional chain then blogs dot category so this category will be make sure the name is okay so that's why i'm copying so this category will be based on selected category so first one is selected category then let me just uh just filter it here okay let me just do a scrolling here dot slice 
S L I C E slice then we'll just do it based on current pace minus one we'll slice current pace minus one then here a multiple sign then pace size pace size then a comma current pace into pace size okay fine so you can see it's right now it's okay um, so now we have to design our pagination pace so that's why I uh, will create a new components so under this components so we'll just take a new component this will be page G nation dot j6 array fce will render this paginations to our block page so that's why look this is uh, we already named it paginations here we'll just render pagination component so page G Basin nations component make it close will pass some following proofs firstly current pace equals the current pace will be uh, you can just copy it from here current pace will just pass blocks uh, these blocks actually blocks will be these blocks will define Pace size will define pace size. We don't actually send these uh, selected category, otherwise, we'll send everything. At, and most importantly, we will add a one pace chance. So let me type one pace chains C A N chains equals so on pin chains equals handle pit chains handle pit chains so we are just uh, passing these props so one page chains I think this is correct okay now at the pagination pace so at the pagination pace now at the pagination pace we'll just destructure everything that we just received so that's why firstly we have to destructure everything okay uh, here firstly we destructure on page chance on page chance then current pace actually destructures wall current pace also destructures uh, blocks blocks then lastly the pace size so page size if everything is destructured here let me define a total pace total pages here we do a math operations you can use math dot seal seal operations and we'll pass block dot length blocks dot length length gts length slash page size so if you console log total pace okay just console log and then uh, you can see some error but here we can find total pace will be eight so because we have we have 86 or 17 data so look 
uh, why it's eight? Because look, we have uh, almost eighty-six data. If we present twelve data per piece, so let me just calculate it. So where is the calculator? Calculators. So maybe we have eighty-six data and we have twelve pairs. Uh, twelve. Uh, data purpose so this will be seven approximately uh, eight pairs so that's why you can just see total pairs will be eight uh, it is dynamically based on the block length if the block length will increase then the number of pairs will be increased so i think it's awesome now you can see the only 12 block is presented because we just defined every page we want to show uh, 12 block on this on this line so that's why 12 block is only showing all block is not rendering we can just see 12 block okay fine now uh, next to do presenting okay let me just mark uh, comment out it then here we'll just write a functions honest render render pagination's pagination links so it's i'm just defining a arrow functions here we'll rent uh we'll just uh show it later based on the category so inside this arrow functions we'll just define a return and this return will be array array dot from array dot from and then close it with define a <laughs> curly braces will define length the length will be total page length the length will be total page length then it will define a comma then a a parenthesis inside this parenthesis first option will be dash and then we'll define index i means index okay so I, here i means index uh, okay fine then uh, here we'll define i plus one so every time i plus one okay that's fine then we'll just map this so that we can just show uh everything so here take a curly braces we'll just define page numbers can you remember we just use page number here without knowing so we use page number here without knowing we just now uses this page number okay take a arrow sign here we'll take first email here we'll define a li tag inside this li tag we'll just use a anchor tag this will be hash and the props will be Page number so page number okay fine so if you check ignore this you can see nothing still you can see nothing but uh take me give a little time i'm going to fix here and uh Layer will just pass a key and this key will be page number page number and then let me define a class name here we'll just use curly braces because we'll just check if page number equal equal current page number current page then we'll just define active pagination active 
pagination that's why we will do some styling empty string okay now here we will just add a one click functions so one click functions that's why inside here it will be anonymous functions arrow functions and loop we used a handle patience so this will be called from here and then we'll pass page number loop the handle patience received page number that's why we just render page number Oh, uh, sorry, yeah, this not be it will be one page, not handle page because here we just define uh, one page, one page equals we just rename it. So that, that was handle page, handle page change, but now it's one page change. That's why here we don't define handle page change, we just define one page change. Okay, fine let's move to this here firstly uh, we'll define it a evil tag okay fine inside this evil tag we'll define a li tag firstly inside this li tag will be define a button this button will be previous P -R -E -V -I -O -E -S. this previous button you can use arrow if you want then okay this is a previous button then we will check a new div this div will be render all the pages so that's why uh we'll define a uh, function here but we didn't call it so we'll call it from here okay make sure you use parenthesis at the end that's fine now the last li the last li will be another button the button this button will be next okay now let's check our website at the end you can see this is previous one two three four five and eight pages and you you can see next but if you press anything is not changing so how you can fix it we'll have to use our functions here so we'll add one click one click and then we'll call anonymous functions then definitely we can define one page change will be current page minus one so when you click previous page it will be reduce uh, a page number from the current page that's why on page one by default this will be disabled so disabled and here we also render it based on uh, will add conditions so when current page current page equal equal one then only disable it otherwise not okay that's why i'm doing this okay so by default you can just click look we don't have uh, mouse icons but when you are page two look by default uh, now you can just select okay fine and lastly here we add one click on click then it's obviously an anonymous functions and these functions will be on page change and this will be current page plus one and by default this will be disabled so disabled when current pace equals equals total pace so this will be uh, disabled so our presentation is almost done we only have to 
add stylings but let me drink some water because my <coughs> neck is almost uh, it's not functioning well so that's why I need to drink something okay here you can already see in badge we just defined active color so we'll just copy it and now we'll just copy it and open app.css here we will do a styling so that's why firstly uh, let me define a paginations uh maybe we can just define as we're going to uh let me add some class name here but before that let me add class name here this will be page nations and my that means margin top and bottom will be eight then it will be flex worf worf and gap will be foo so if we do this then you can see nothing changes but just did this now uh, look here we have pagination so firstly we will target this pagination first then we will just move to others so this is paginations then now we'll just target div as it's a class so that's why dot pagination's here the is uh, display will be df display flex then justify content center align items center or align align items will be center okay fine then list style list style type none we'll add margin zero padding zero okay fine now check it's now on the center positions as we're just defining flex center and item center that's why it's now on center okay now here we'll target paginations and then inside this paginations you can see we have anchor tag we have anchor tag so that's why we'll target oh uh look we have a light tag so that's why firstly we'll target a line then anchor tag so margin will be zero five pixels so now you can see there is mass space between uh these numbers and previous button and next button okay fine then we'll target anchor tag so that's why firstly pagination inside this pagination there is anchor tag a tag so copy it and then take a space so anchor tag display will be inline block inline block okay fine nothing changed then padding will be five pixels and ten pixels five pixels and ten pixels okay fine border will be one pixels solid solid then hash ccc so that will be a colors you can take change this you can see how it's changing then border radius border radius four pixels then text decorations text decorations none color will be hash slash that means black color 
so it's something now you can see there's something then we'll target hover effects so paginations dot anchor then hover so that's why here we add background color bz triple a so look there is some effects now dot paginations then link when link is uh, link inside this link you can see inside this link so link we have active uh, active presentation so we make sure this active presentation that's why it's, it's inside link so that's why li dot link uh, active presentations so here background color will be rgb rgb colors and the value will be let me delete all the value now the value will be 255 255 106 and 0 okay that means some uh, this type of colors okay fine by default one is selected and you can see this is colors but you can see now two is selected but here we will add broader radius so that users look gorgeous for pixels uh then color will be color will be white okay that's fine mm -hmm. oh so isn't it beautiful so let me check why it's not working presentation uh is there we did anything wrong so hard it's not uh flex so presentations it will be flex by think this will be not inline block this will be uh this will be flex okay but it's not working actually this is a link this is a deep and but it's still not working okay let's see gap for everything is working So why is not showing something? Okay, let me know spec it. Add uh, select any of this, then this is flex. Okay, fine. Link items, so it's flex. Uh, maybe we can just. justify around so it's around okay it's not we not uh, do this let me go inside it here every list items we just make sure this div is active and this active this uh, div must be here we have an extra div so we have to target this div So here, if we just make sure, display, display flex. Okay, now it's work. So how to fix it? okay to fix this look here this is the div we haven't any class here we will just add flex and gap one so refresh it 
go to bottom now this section is gorgeous you can change anything you can look second the third page fourth page so active styling is correct you can change by using next next you can also go previously five six four three two one and now you can select it if you go eight page then you have you can select it so our presentation is done now we have to do the page category so that's why so for this we will have to do page category so that's why uh let me close this presentation so we done this we also close this block cards so service section is not needed so at this block page uh sorry this is block page is open here we have already written uh, page category so that's why we will create a component so the component name will be category uh category selection dot zsx rafce we'll just import this page from here so that's why let me insert this div category selection page okay fine category selection page we'll pass uh, some props inside here so that's why firstly the first prop will be one select this name will be on select page on select ACF select category see category category on select category then actually equals then curly braces here inside this on select category I actually pass handle category change i just rename it a little bit and then we'll pass selected category so let me uh, close it so selected category so we'll pass this also so that's why so this is the categories and we'll also pass this this will be selected category and lastly we will just pass active category so we also defined active category so we'll also also uh, pass also here so active category so everything we passed now our task is we have to receive the props so that's why here we'll receive the props from this space first props is one select then second one is selected category second one is okay uh, we don't need to everything let me just uh, pass active category uh, okay we will if need we will just uh, do it a little bit later so now we'll define conost catch a go race equals then a iron objects firstly we'll define some category make sure make sure you must define this category so just look exactly just type exactly the same name so that's why firstly startups so let me startups let me make sure you just type exactly what inside your blog because uh, we do filtering using this category so first one is uh, blog then we have security or something okay then security use uh, it will be string that's why this way 
then we will do ai so do ai ai then we have the apps and <clears throat> take also take also okay when you have done this then you will just delete it and here we just take a button this button will be wall this button will be wall okay fine then we'll just uh this textures our categories so this is categories c a t e z u r s categories the name is okay now we'll just map then we'll just visit category then we'll just make sure this will be first one will be bot button and we'll first category so what category this category so copy it and paste it here and then you must have to provide a key props and this props will be category so if you check your website at the top you can see the categories is are here we'll do a styling so that's why uh, let me define here okay let me just show it by this way so that we can just understand properly nothing else so here we'll just take a class name this will be template string so that's why curly braces then template string uh amr that means merging to the right direction it will be ms true is a space x will be 16 or something okay check your website so here is some space you can here we will define dollar sign then curly braces as we are receiving active category we'll just pass it here then then equals then category if the category category then equals category then we will just define active button otherwise em empty string okay fine we'll just style this button now so at app.css target this now style these items so that's why let me style this the color will be only we use uh, sorry it's not column color color will be something like fc 3c 1a so this type of colors okay now check okay nothing happens still here why nothing happens is still here we don't define one click so then here we will add one click function so one click will check an anonymous functions arrow then on selected category on selected category will may change it to this category so this category we will call it using this category look on selected change category is actually the handle change a uh, category sense and it will receive a category that's why this name and 
and this name will be same and also this name will be same make sure everything is same without okay fine so if everything is same we'll call it okay so now let's see app is active text is active a is active security is active status is active now let's style this one this is also uh, use a one click one click then we will also make sure this will be a anonymous functions and one select category sense this will be null so by default this will be null okay fine so if we select wall everything is rendered we can just change paginations we can just do everything okay now just let's style it uh, add here we will just like to add class name this class name will use template string so that's why on large device ml will be 12 then we will add a dollar sign and active category make sure active category then okay then we will just keep it empty and when it's not active we'll just make sure this is active button so the when category is true we'll just empty this okay fine but when category is not selected by default the wall is selected okay fine by default the wall is selected now finally we'll target this parent div we'll define px4 we'll define mp8 then we'll just define on lg space x 16 space x 16 okay fine let me check it's a mass space now we'll define flex it will be flex we'll define flex worth it will be worth the item will be item center and border we have some border so that's why border b2 then we'll define py that means padding top and bottom 5 text text will be gray 900 so 900 and font will be font will be semi bold okay fine now check uh, so you can filter products based on categories okay fine these sections is now okay our presentation is still working look after us and last one is this one so last one is changed so i think i can say our presentations styling is done now uh, we have a sidebar here so that's why we have to make a sidebar so we have to make a sidebar so let me create a components named sidebar dot jsx we don't need this now r a f c e okay now here at block base here we have block categories and we'll just check a new div and this will div uh, let me add a comments this will be side bar component and this will be block components so block cards component so okay fine inside this div we'll just call sidebar sidebar okay fine here sidebar is okay let me see you can see sidebar is here but we make it some styling so that's why we will target this div 
will define this is flex by default flex call on one large device lg device flex will be row and cap will be 12 or something okay fine now we can see sidebar is here sidebar is here okay now let's style our sidebar <laughs> uh, i'm almost right if you like this video and is still here please comment firstly add sidebar so this is our sidebar we'll add to styling so the sidebar will have a div inside this div we have a h3 this will be latest post uh, latest blogs okay fine let add class name text to excel font semi boot px4 something like this okay fine now here let me add corners we need blocks that's why let me define popular blocks then set popular blocks so set popular blocks p will be capital letters and then we will use use a state use a state hooks state hooks and this will be empty array first okay fine then we'll just fetch so that's why we will use use effect use effect then uh this is square brackets are here this will be an anonymous function so that's why let me define a function here firstly we will fetch fetch our all blocks so that's why look this is our url this will be blocks all blocks then we we'll just type then we'll just define brace Arrow, arrow functions here raise dot json then dot then then will be data the data will set to set popular blocks then data okay uh, we will get all the data but we don't need all the data we need some source of data that's why we will just split uh, slice so data dot is l i c slice then we just load 10 data you can just filter uh you can just fill uh, filter based on category here but uh let me just show how you can do this okay fine now here s3 will take a new div and we'll just map this popular then map We'll just define here will be blog and this blog arrow functions will take a div inside this div every block and a key props will be blog dot id <laughs> every block Uh, will be a title that's why is for the title will be blog dot title okay fine blog dot titles then inside here we'll just render a link from react router dom and then two will by default and empty then let me close it here read now 
okay you can just copy this from our banner section so let me open this banner section so you can copy this okay this will be a uh, must time saver so that's why let me copy this here we just change it read more read more okay now if you check your website you can see uh, if a arrow is not defined so that's why from our blog we'll just copy these lines also and add it at the top now refresh look here all well, the blog uh, 15 blog is presented but we don't need to show wall so again we will slice it so that's why be behind this map we will just slice then we will just make it 0 then 5 then a dot okay now uh, make sure this uh, now it will just show 5 blocks okay fine now let's style let me define this define a class name font will be medium then mb2 okay mb2 then Uh, the font is here medium so let me delete this we don't need this we will just define it text base and pb will be 2 okay fine i think now this is okay Oh, now target this div add class name then my5 border border b2 border spacing true and px is 4 okay fine now it's looking something like this okay if latest block is done you can just copy this i can just copy this and paste it here you can just mark it popular popular blog this is who who large blocks so we'll just slice it 5 to 11 5 to 10 for examples of uh, maybe it's 6 to so we have already rendered 6 to 10 okay now you can see block and here we will have some spacing that's like class name margin top will be h okay it's not working maybe we can we just close it we don't need this maybe here we just define empty Join okay, now it's an up space. Uh, it's not a link, so that's why maybe we can just make sure uh, we can just use as the uh, we can just do as a link components here. Also, just okay, fine. Just let me this is okay uh, we don't need to make it link because we just hit here to go to move so our sidebar is done that's why we can say our block page is now okay so if it's okay we can just render it at 
home so render it at home so what we will do we'll just open our home page here under this banner okay and this, this banner will just uh, what you will do we actually take a new div inside this div we'll call our blog page okay fine here add class name max tableau 7 excel mx watch okay fine that's something isn't it good yes um that's uh how we can just define now uh we obviously can do anything we can just move anywhere but now uh, we have a footer section so let's do the footer sections first so that's why uh, it's obviously a component that's why inside this component we'll just create fwter.jsx rafce this will be a footer the footer color will be class name bz 900 so this type of footer and we will import it inside this app so under this outlet we'll just define footer components and then render it here so look here is our footer we we'll have to design it uh, so close block page block sidebar home uh, everything we just need to open is this one so here at first we'll take a new div inside this div actually we will define some classes so this will be px4 obviously then p top at 16 uh, mx virtual then on sm on sm max wxl max wxl on medium devices max w full on lg devices that means max w screen excel on medium devices px will be 24 on large devices px will be 8 something like this okay fine don't need to worry about design is on you we'll take a new div inside this div we'll have another div so this div firstly have a new div okay too much div here that's why this will be category category you can see the top you can see anything because uh, our text is not visible so we'll define text white defined uh, let me define class name here mm, maybe here class name font medium tracking wider so this is white something then text gray 300 okay fine now we can see this is category okay under this p tag uh, 
under this p tag we'll just check a evil tag evil tag inside this evil tag we will take li tag and here we'll just anchor tag this will be news news then here class name will be text tray 500s then transition colors duration 300s over text drawing as 500 or something okay fine this is news you can see news the color is changed you can copy this ali for four times one two three okay fine news first one is news second one is world third one is games then fourth one is references okay check word news from references that's fine so here at ml uh, evil tag add class name this will be margin top two and a space y two so here is not x it will be y two okay the must be true so at the top we have a div so this is the to close it this is the div at the top here we'll just define class name we'll define read uh, read false two by default then gap five then row gap okay don't need this then on lg call a span four on medium devices bridge calls for okay see nothing changes but if we copy it for sometimes copy it for sometimes you can see okay let me see this category we can change it and name that's maybe you can names it anything so inside here there will be web the mmerc e-commerce then this will be business then last one will be enter train meant okay fine now you can see apples okay fine here we can also add portfolio portfolio nothing else okay fine finally this two on is done this two is done category query second category and then obviously there will be cherry uh, we'll copy it again and then paste it here this will be another category name i'm just naming cherry 
says a r y cherry okay you can see cherry this cherry will have media then brochure media brochure non-profit non profit education and then projects projects okay fine we can also define business here oh that's fine sure and lastly we'll copy it uh we'll copy it and call it category theory and now finally we'll copy the for the last time and define it category for okay fine here we just name it business uh, business everything is same this is business and firstly inside this business the first one will be info a new then personal then wiki then forum okay and category 4 is done category 4 is done finally subscription so that's why let me copy it so this one is subscription okay that's fine we'll just define it subscribe for updates Class name on medium devices Max W MD then on large devices call a span two on large devices MD top zero and M top five. Mm. Just merge. So I think it's okay. Let me. Is it do everything here? Okay, let me just make it outside of this. So this is subscriptions. Let me cut it. Inside this div. Okay, at the top, let me show.
okay maybe here we can paste it so this is subscriptions subscriptions here we will target this div last name this will be bread row gap so it's not available and mbh lg Grad calls six. Ah, oh, that's something. Look, now it's here most probably we can do uh, maybe here if it's four okay so enough gap we must define it here it cost takes okay fine now add the subscriptions here will show will show probably we'll have to styling this so that's why firstly let me cut these sections so we'll take a from from we don't need to define actions so that's why let's keep it empty then we, we need a empty text this will be email then name will be name will be email and ids will be obviously email here we'll add class name this will be flex grow this will be flex grow then items center of maybe so don't items centers it will be w full then a is 12 px4 mb3 then transition transition duration 2 then busy white then border then border gray three hundreds so this will be rounded then shadow will be asm then appearance none on medium devices mr2 on medium devices mb0 focus focus will be border purple four then focus will be 
outline none then focus shadow outline so it's not available so we don't uh, use this okay fine now if you check your website you can see this is something so here at the span tag maybe we we'll just add some styling so this will be something like oh we can use call this from and then we can define him top four so for now okay now another space then after this form we'll need a button so that's a button this button will be type will be submit so type will be type will be submit then this button will be subscribe so subscribe and see this is subscribe we'll add a styling so that's why add last name in line flex items center justify center center justify center then is 12 px6 font medium tracking white text white transition duration 200 rounded shadow empty hover busy audience 500 <coughs> focus outline none okay but maybe we have to add border so that's it lastly border okay fine now we'll target our form and here add a form add a form tag this will be flex then flex will be call on medium devices flex will be flex will be row uh, you can see this is our dedicated span tag uh, this is our dedicated sections now let me see something top page margin that's why mb bottom 5 trade okay fine so let me close it here the next sections oh under this form there is some text so under this form there is some text so lorem something okay the class name will be m top 4 text sm text gray 500s okay okay this text is fine now it's done let me close it let me close the first one here under this dream we'll take another div inside this div first one will be p tag this will be copyrights so copy right 
2023 will be wall right free we are e p r e s e r e b preserved okay fine we can see it still so here we'll just use some button so that's why anchor tag inside this anchor tag inside this anchor tag firstly we'll just define okay twitter instagram facebook actually the button will inside here so that's why let me import react icons import from react icons Check icon slash FA6. Okay, fine. Now, here first icon is FA Twitter. So, FA Twitter. Okay, the class name will be a6 w6 then we'll add class name this will be text gray 500 then transition transitions wall durations 300 hover will be text till and send till and send for okay check how we can just define our brand color text one is 500 okay fine now we will copy these for three times. The second one will be Instagram. Then last one will be Facebook. Facebook. Okay, fine. This is two icons. Here we will target this class name. Define flex flex call <clears throat> justify between B of five PB ten border top border gray 800s then isn't the legs row okay fine now here last name legs items will be center m top four space x four smt m top zero okay fine now this is and this text will be so let me add class name this paragraph is not started so 
text will be sm then text gray 500 fine now it's okay we can use a copyright sign so copyright symbol so this is copyright symbol copy it and now paste it here hope this will work so now this is work you can just check it inside your div okay fine this is the home preview our website is now look this type of websites so finally our home page is done so now this time i have to do a, a stuff here so for example if i just click any of this blog then it's not directing to the individual blog page to show the more details so for this what you will do we actually uh, create a new components the components name will be uh, the maybe we can create a new page so let me hit this pages and here this page will for single blog single blog page or just you can write single blog and then jsx or rvfc as we are doing everything using this commerce to single blog and now um, let's define a path for this single blog so here uh, curly braces then path the path will be actually slash blogs slash clone id so then this is will be a single path for this blog so how i define this path okay before that let me define elements so here we will render single blog okay fine that's fine uh, okay let's see so here we have all data and if we just define id at the end for example the id is here three so if we define three here then we can see only we get the number three id and this is the details of the specific id if we just type each one for example then we can get this id so when a person click any of this block it will redirect to a single block page and we can see the details okay fine we are going to do that here we'll just define a loader and then here we will face something so that's why we'll type fetch uh, okay as this is the a specific route so that's why let me copy this url and here we would like to use template string okay paste it here we'll just set the uh, id specifically based on your click so that's why here we'll use template string and curly braces and as we're going to load id from params so here will be params and then here in this curly process we will data structures param.id that's fine if we do this and go back to our single block piece and here if we load data conost okay conost data equals use loader data okay fine then now if you console log this data clg data okay see what happened so now we're at here and if we click nothing happened so before that let me define a path here so as it's on block it's on blockers here we have a, a specific link here we will just redirect it so that's why this link is not redirected we will define a path so two will be it will be also template string so curly braces here template string then we'll define blocks slash this path make sure you just define this path actually 
okay you can just copy it from here and then define it here uh, this will be not the path we will just use template string the blog dot id okay fine now if you over any of this then you can see the block number four the block number five uh, look at this uh, left bottom corner you can see block slash six localhost block slash seven so that's why we can go any of this block so if we hit here okay this uh, the urls localhost blocks three and if you just check your console log you can see okay let me refresh it again you can see we get a data actually here is the id number three as we hit it number three block and you can gauge all the details about this block so our single block is available here so now we'll dissect these structures this data so to these structures the this data firstly as we get honest and we will just these structures this is block so data and adds here we'll just define zero index so, okay fine now let's destructure structure data so firstly we have title name so this is title this is title then author name okay we need image we need categories so if we want to show so categories author then obviously published date then reading time then content for example so the last one okay fine now we will show the details but before that from the any of this category for example let me hit this contact page and here let me copy this div for the single block okay fine now here at the single block we'll just paste it and we'll define this is a single block single blog base okay fine now if you just uh, if you just hit any of this now your single block base and you will render blocks element here under this tip okay uh, blog details fine so we'll take a new div and this div will have a specific max width so that's why max w 7 xl mx auto so then m y will be 12 okay fine right, right now it's okay then inside this block we will take a new div this div will have a specific width so that's why we will define on large device w width will be third of the fourth and then mx auto okay fine inside this firstly we will just take a div and inside this div we will just render image so use curly braces here and our image is this one okay now if you check you can see the image it's the number four block let's back to home if we just hit this one you can see this image is loaded here okay fine here we'll just define some classes uh 
obviously tableau full for the images then mx auto and this will be rounded rounded cursor okay we don't need to define cursor see here okay fine the image is must bigger right now then at the end of this brief we will just define a h2 tag and this will be title here okay now we can see this is the title we will just do some styling then class name text 3 excel font bold on mid uh, margin bottom will be 4 text will be blue 500 cursor will be pointers okay fine now you can see we we can add some more spacing at the top we can add more spacing at the top so that's why we can just add uh, m of eight or more okay let's see it's enough space now after then will depend p tag you can just probably okay let me define here this will be author authors and then will be include published date published date so check our websites okay author name and published date are visible we can just add um symbols here so that's why let me define conost oh let me define import here we'll just import uh, some reactor icons so that's why import so import statements and have react icons react icons slash fa the font of some icons and this will be fa user fa users icon and another we will need ap6 icons the icons will be fa clock okay maybe it's not available but we can keep it there okay now here we will use fa icons so fa users close it now if we check uh, maybe this one is not available okay let me delete it for now so now this is okay here uh, on this fa users we will add class name inline flex in inline flex then item center margin to the right direction will be two okay fine now this is something we'll add some class name to this div so class name will be mb pre text tray 600 okay fine now here we'll just copy this div uh, this paragraph tag and we'll define here if a clock if a clock and we'll just render 
reading time so reading time you can see uh, these blocks takes only five minutes to read so that people can be aware about it after then when it's done we can render uh, our text so that's why we will take another p tag and we will just render the content then this will be class name text sm then text gray 500 mb6 okay fine you can see you can just see this is the text you can just keep it to sm base so that's it that means the font size will be 16 pixels now it's must I have uh, so every blog we have some uh, little data because I have to create all this data. But when real you do real projects, then all blog post will be rendered. So that's why for showing something, let me define a div here, and inside this div, let me take a define p tag. Uh, let me copy everything. We just uh, for we just uh, for styling we just add some dummy text but i think you can modify if you understand it so here first one will be lorem post then take p tag lorem post again p lorem it's some dummy text okay you can see you can just add brackets uh, so line gaps here okay fine and of contents i think you can do real contents okay must be done now i think must be done now all uh, this back here if we click the first one then the image is showing then title is showing then uh, details blog details are here if you click this on this blo a specific blog is loaded here okay fine if this happens let me close this div on the right side there will be only render the sidebar so we rendered sidebar here so that's why let me import sidebar so let's see sidebar is here uh, we will add some class name here the class name will be on large devices top loop will be half okay fine and here at the parents div we will define this is flex by default flex call flex call then on medium devices there will be flex info and gap will be 12 or something now check here at the right corners you can see all latest blog and on the blade the blog details are available so these sections is also done let's check how it's going to look so if it's done our blog page is done there are other pages but before that let me define a model for this project so to define the model for this projects what you will do actually we will have to uh, go back to our navigation system so here we let me close this close this one and we just close everything uh, we will just open our Number and we are at the top. We will define a user states hook. So, conost here we define user states hooks. So, this hook is all for models. So, that's why 
uh, here we will define is model open set model open here user state will be by default false false okay fine then under this we'll just define model details or something okay Here we will define a function conust open model. Then it will be a functions, probably a arrow functions, then curly braces. We'll just define set model open, set is model open will be true. Okay, fine. Then we'll define another buttons so this is a functions then close model close model this will be a uh, arrow functions and will define set models open false that opens false okay fine now we will create a new component so the, the components names will be model dot jsx R A A P C E. Okay, fine. Now here at the number we want to show the model. So where we'll show our models components? Um, we can show it under this. Under this. Okay, you can show any place here. We'll just import model then close it and let me add a comments so our model component is here okay fine then we will pass uh, is open is open equal Uh, is open equal is model open this is open equal this model open pass this okay states is open equal this model open and then here we'll just define on close on close we'll define close close model so this close model okay fine now um as we're targeting this will be on login so we'll just add a on click method here on click method here and we'll just call open model open model so pass it from here so if we do this and then here at the model piece Here the model piece we will just receive the props that we passed so that's high we'll just receive props is open uh, so let me copy from it the props so is open the first one is is open then a comma then on close so this is on close okay fine now mm -hmm. uh, inside this return div actually here we will just type class name and we will use template string that's why this one will define fixed then top zero left zero W will be full 
is will be full then this will be flex items will be center justify center then our a template strips here so that's why we'll just define is open if open then we'll do nothing but when it's closed we'll just define hidden okay fine then inside this tip we'll take another tip uh so we'll name just model container we don't need to define it but let me just do it then inside this div we take another div this div will have a background so class name busy ngo 700 so then text will be center positions and after then we'll add padding of around five and age will be obviously 96 so 96 or something then width will be uh maybe on large devices will be 5000 pixels okay fine so you can see nothing but when you click this is something we can make it rounded round it and shadow will be sm empty so look this is visible and if you refresh it comes okay fine now so here will be model components the model content content the content goes here we'll define a is true this will be please login login here so firstly let me define class name text excel uh, excel then font semi bold then mb4 m top 6 mb5 uppercase okay so this is place login and after then we will need to define a form form uh, we don't have the action so let me close it here we will just define class name px to the p to the x axis will be 4 padding to the x axis here we will define email the first field will be email field and we will take a div inside this div we will just take a input i input and this will be email then this will also be email and id will be email okay fine the placeholder will be enter so example example at reg gmail.com okay fine you check you can see example at red gmail.com that's indicate that it will be a email field and here we will add class name the class name will be w full then round it empty there will be a border 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 
color will be something like e0 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 bz will be white then py will be free tx will be 6 text will be base font will be medium and text color will be a custom colors we'll just define this way 6b 7280 our outline would be none out line will be none focus border then a specific colors here the color will be 6a 64f1 okay then focus will be shadow md will be shadow md okay fine check this is our uh, first prompt and this will be a email form so you can just type your email this way look this way and after then let me copy this div and this will be a password field password and we'll define enter your passwords here enter your password okay look we need some spacing so that's why class name md3 or uh, let's check here is mass space but if need then you can just define mb5 okay fine then we will need to define a button this button will be submit button so under this div we'll define a new div and inside this div we'll just define a button the button will be login mm. here we will add class name on hover shadow empty then this will be rounded empty then bz will obviously a custom colors hash 6 a 6 4 f one then hover busy warrants 600 py equals 3 and px will be 8 text will be base font will be semi bold then text will be white and outline none okay let's see this is something we'll add some class name here so maybe class name as usual we just define mb5 wow our login button is done and we have to close this button if anyone don't want then they can able to close this that's why under this form under this form under this form we'll just take model close model, model close button so this will just take we will take a button and this button will be close so here will do the same styling almost the same styling but uh, let me define busy 
gray three hundreds, then hover with the gray four hundreds, then text will be gray eight hundred, font will be semi bold. PY will be true, PX will be 4, this will be rounded, rounded, then it will be in line, flex, item center, M top, M top 8, okay fine. This will something close. You can just uh, add padding to the x axis, six or something similar, uh, uh, maybe eight. Okay, fine. Let's check. Now it's similar. There is must gap, uh, there is a huge gap. So that's why you can reduce some gap. You can just define five, m top five. Okay, now. When you click, it's not uh, nothing happened. So that's why we'll add one click. So here we'll just target one click events, and then this will be one close, one close. Okay, fine. Now, uh, if we just hit, then the model is gone. Let me refresh it again. I'm home page add. Let me hit this login. A uh, form is appear here. Uh, we can just log in here using this form if we just add a handle one click and just captures this to one and use firebase to the authentications then it will work and then if you don't want then it will close okay fine so i think it's well i have done the main major features here and if you want to get all the projects done the whole projects done then you can just let me a little bit so you can just uh, buy this uh, premium template and i hope uh, if you just buy this one it will support me to lead more content so thank you everyone